How's it going everyone? This is One Doctor Genius and welcome back to another day in the Prodigy world. So for today's quest, what I'm doing is I'm going to be catching myself a squibble. Yes, you heard me right, a squibble. Well, now you guys might be wondering, what's so rare about a squibble? Well, the squibble can only be found in one place in all of Prodigy. It can only be found in Shipwreck Shore and there's only one place in Shipwreck Shore where you can find it. Now, there are two ways of getting a squibble. You can either buy it for approximately 2,000 of these water watts. What are they called? You can buy it for 2,000 of these water currency. Or what you can do is you can catch it for free. Now, of course, we all want to catch it for free and don't want to pay gold or anything, right? So now, you guys may be wondering, what else can this thing do? Well, it's a water-type pet. It evolves into the squabble and the squirrel. I mean, both of these guys look super cool. And this is one of the oldest pets in the Prodigy. So what am I waiting for? Let's get into the video. So what you have to do is you have to head over to the side. You have to battle whatever monster spawns over here and then you have to head up. So let me just quickly do that. Now after your glorious victory, what you must do is you must head up over here. Right, so now we head up. Now what you can do is you can either decide to battle this Aquaster and take longer or you can click on the side and head up over here. Once you have cheated the world of Prodigy, you must walk over here in the precise path and skip both of these monster battles and now battle this monster over here. Once you battle this monster, what you want to do is you want to head underwater. So let's just battle it and then head underwater. After riding an underwater tornado, what happens is you appear underwater. So now you guys see that there's a neek, there's going to be a water neek, a funkeel or something else which spawns over here. So now what you want to do is you want to battle that guy and then you want to stop. You want to wait for my instructions, okay? So let me just quickly battle this guy and I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, so now there's something you can do. You can either teleport across very easily, right? So basically what should happen is that this shouldn't be covered with black clouds, okay? And this shouldn't be covered in black clouds either. If both of these are covered, if even one of them is covered in black clouds, then you can't teleport. So both of them must be cleared with the Sonic Blaster which Captain Eve gives you. Sonic Blaster! So right, let's suppose you don't have this portal open. Well, it's pretty simple. What you have to do is you have to head up over here. And now once you head up, you just have to click o over on the sides over here next to the bushes. Click over there and you can simply head up without even having to battle a monster. Now we reach this area. So what you want to do is you want to click over here, click straight up. Now click on the side quickly and head across. There, it's quite simple actually. No monster battles done. Now what you have to do is you have to battle whatever monster spawns over here and head down into the ship. For some reason, Neeks are only spawning. Like, what is this? Why are there only Neeks which are spawning? Let's just battle this River Neek and head on into the ship. After a sad battle, our dragon has been defeated. Now, once your battle is complete, what you want to do is you want to head over into the ship and you want to make sure that all of the ship is cleared out. So once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to just head up. You want to keep on going up, so right? So once this loads, what you want to do is you want to head up over here. Now you have to head above water, so I just recommend clicking up again. Now that we've appeared here, what you want to do is you want to click up over here and you'll be taken upwards. Now we're into the upper deck, so once you reach here, what you want to do is you want to keep on heading up. What is up with heading up? Like, nope, nothing else, you just need to keep on heading up. What you need to do is you need to head over to your top left hand corner. Now just click on the top left hand corner and it will teleport you straight over here to the far beach. Now once you reach the far beach, what you want to do is you want to head down into this whirlpool, okay? So now we're being teleported straight into a whirlpool. We have now reached a whirlpool. Now what you want to do is you want to battle the monster which spawned over here, okay? So you want to battle the monster which spawned over here and then you want to head down over here. So let me just quickly battle this guy and head down over there. After your victory is secure, what you want to do is you want to head down over here. And now we load up over here. Do you guys see this monster spot over here where it looks like there's a piranha? Well, over here, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the funky spawns over there. So you see this guy? You want to make sure that this guy spawns over there. Whoa! Okay, this guy's a magician. He just appeared out of nowhere. But yeah, what you want to do... Whoa! He's another magician. He just disappeared. Okay. Maybe he's a wizard and apparates it out of there. 
But what you want to do is you want to make sure that this funk yield spawns over here. And now when a funk yield spawns, there's a chance that it might spawn in with a squibble. So what you have to do is you have to keep on reloading until you end up with a squibble. So let me just quickly do that. Okay guys, so it turns out that now a funk yield spawned over here. So what you want to do is you want to head into a monster battle with it and hope that it has a squibble along with it. And for us, we are super lucky. It looks like the funk yield has a squibble. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you defeat the funk yield only and then you want to catch the squibble. So let's just quickly do that. Now that I've answered my question correct, we shall attack Mr. Funkil with the Falling Star Smash and do loads of damage! Ow, Mr. Funkil has hacked us as well. Well, let's just shoot boiling hot lava snowballs at them. Now that I've answered my question, I finally get myself an accomplishment. Yay! So it looks like we've just gotten ourselves another skill. And now we shall be throwing boiling hot snowballs at them. Hiya! Hiya! Okay, we have done 4,000 damage to both. Okay, the squibble's health is really low. It almost died, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch myself a squibble. So Mr. Funkiel will run away and then the squibble will come up. So now that you've caught- so now the squibble is over here, what you want to do is you want to click this rescue button over here and answer the question after clicking the yes button. Now that I have completed my question, what will happen is I will finally be able to rescue the squibble from the evils of the puppet. I have now rescued the squibble from the evil forces of the puppet master, and now he's one of my pets, okay? So now that we've gotten this guy, looks like our dragic will be able to level up. Will it evolve? No, it will probably evolve at level 15 or 24, I don't know. Should evolve at level 17 or something, but yeah, that's for later video. Okay, so let's just open our member chest, and how much gold will we get? 200 gold? Oh, yes! I am great at guessing the amount of gold. Okay, so let's read some information on the squibble. The gem on the squibble's head is known to be good luck. It's often the target of fishermen. Oh no! Do fishermen attack you, Mr. Squibble? They all deserve to be attacked themselves. Well, looks like this is a powerful pet with um, a moderate amount of hearts, and it evolves at level 17 into a squabble. And then from Squabble, what it will evolve into is a Squirrel. Okay, right? So all of them will have about the same health. Okay, so we have finally caught in ourselves a Squibble. And now I will be making sure that I have myself a Squabble and then a Squirrel. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and, and caught yourself a Squibble. And if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Got any comments or want to see how to catch us some sort of a different pet? Well, comment that down below, and I'll catch y'all in my next video. One Dr. Genius out. Bye.